I'm Mansfield Frazier. I'm the manager of Chateau Huff. There was a project called Reimagining Cleveland. Reimagine Cleveland is a green city on the Blue Lake, and it was federally funded. They put in 58 green projects. That was a proposal. We applied to put in a vineyard, and they said no. So what does he know about wine and grapes? And I took great exception because I said, I'm an expert at taking the cork out the bottle, which is about all I knew at the time. But this is a re-entry project disguised as a vineyard. This was to build wealth in communities, to create a triple net bottom line reuse vacant lots, put in something sustainable and green, but most importantly, to create paychecks. Just make sure that you pick the ones that are fully ripened. Like this leaf. See, like, look, this one looks like it's fully ripe. But it ain't. But see under That's the bottom, it's read. not. Yeah. Right, it's not. So we, uh, one of the things you got to do, if you start seeing them where they're not getting, again, this, what, these vines were tied too tight. I had trouble over here. So with our grapes, so we decided to put some berries in just to see if there's something wrong with the soil. And the berries just took off like crazy. Uh, we got to keep these rows clean too. This ain't helping us. America is growing out of its racism, but ever so slowly. You know, maybe in another couple hundred years, it won't be as bad if we're still around. But it's been a long time process, you have to realize it hasn't been that many years since the Civil War. A lot of the problems you see are surrounding loss of jobs, loss of income, and part of it is that majority culture and big business, the Wall Street bankers, they made so much money off of poverty, keeping blacks poor, they said, hey, this is great, let's keep some white people poor too because it costs more to be poor. And so we have plutocrats that literally run this country. And as long as you have these income disparities and plutocrats running the country, they take their wealth offshore, they control Congress, they control Wall Street, and we haven't used the political process to change that. Pure capitalism is a system that's starting to fail. It never was that great a system to begin with. We have to change from pure capitalism to a form of cooperative ownership, just like our winery is going to be. We, we are going to operate, once there is wealth, on the Mondragon principles. It's a form of socialism, that the workers own part of what they produce. They own their own labor. Uh, they're called cooperatives in America. Elections can make a difference. I mean, there's only two ways of changing things in a, in a democracy, is with a, a ballot or a bullet, and the bullet is not going to work. So we have to depend on the ballot to work. So if we can elect the right people and the right Congress, we can put in um, programs that lift people out of poverty, get them off of welfare, get them trained for work, and open up opportunities so they can work. If this election goes badly, badly meaning if Donald Trump's, Trump wins, Republicans take back over the White House, a lot of the programs like Obamacare that help people with health care, programs that provide training for employment, a lot of those will probably go by the wayside. So yes, it does, it does matter from that extent who occupies the White House. Cheers. Cheers. To Huff. To Huff.